All right, the next thing we're going to do is adjust the weld head here. There's actually two adjustments we need to make on it. The first is the immersion depth. Theoretically, we want that stud, the flange on this stud to be immersed into the material we're welding to about two millimeters. The other adjustment we make is the lift adjustment. This is a, a gap weld head, so what it does is when it welds, it lifts the stud up off the surface of the material and then plunges it back down, and that's when the weld process takes place. So we have to adjust this distance, the height of the lift. We want both of these distances to be about two millimeters. We want it to be the immersion depth to be about two millimeters and the lift to be about two millimeters doesn't have to be that but that's just kind of a good starting point for most of these welds we just want to make sure we have a stud loaded into the weld head put in the operating mode so I can load the stud in and then we have a mode here called the lift check mode so I'll put the machine in that lift mode and what this does is it actually goes through the motions of welding without actually welding. It actually does the lift function on the weld head and it also measures the time that that lift function takes. Of course, the, the longer the lift distance, the longer the time that it's going to need measuring. So the time is one of the quality control functions on this machine. So now when I press these two bomb buttons, you're going to see this machine move down. When it gets into the down position, it's going to lift. And then when it comes back down, we'll be able to measure our immersion depth. We can hit this, re reset the zero of this gauge out. See it just lifted. And it's plunging. So it's only going into the material now a half of a millimeter, 0.5 millimeters. So we adjust this by this little set screw here at the bottom of this uh, pneumatic slide. So I'm going to move that down a little bit. And let's check it now. So now the immersion is 1.6, adjust it a little bit more. So you can see you can be very precise. I tighten that little set screw that holds it. So we're at 2.2 millimeters. But you get the idea. So right now our immersion depth is 2.1 millimeters. The other adjustment we have to make is the height of the lift. And that's the, the number you're seeing right at first. What we do is to adjust that, there's just a little dial on the front of the top of the weld head. Each click on it is a, a tenth of a millimeter. If we turn it clockwise, it decreases the amount of lift. If we turn it counterclockwise, it increases it. So let me see what the 3.4. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm just counting these clicks. There you go. It was 2 millimeters. We want this lift to be measuring four millimeters, and I'll explain that. Okay, right there, it's, it's four millimeters, and now two. 2.1. So you see it's it's measuring four millimeters, then when it quits lifting it's two. So that tells us our lift is two millimeters. Because when the machine's head is down, that shaft moves two millimeters up. When it does the lift function, it's gonna move it's moving four, which is actually two more millimeters off the surface of the material. So it's kind of a relative measurement. Here while the machine is up in the air. If I do that, push the button, it'll do the lift. But 
the other key to this, whenever you're changing these measurements, is to adjust this uh, proximity sensor here. This is the trigger switch, and you have to do a, the adjustment on it, and I'll do that in our next video here. So basically, we have the, it's, it's not triggering now because of the proximity sensor. What had happened was it, it quit lifting because I was doing it too much. And this machine has a, in the computer, if it, to protect the solenoid in the back, if you make it lift too many times, it'll say lift test carried out too long and it'll stop uh, doing it. But now it's uh, back to, looks like it's the timeout. So you can see it lifts four millimeters and then two. The two is actually the immersion depth. The four measurement is, you take the four millimeters that it measures whenever it's lifted up, you subtract that immersion depth and you have your lift, lift depth. Another way to measure this is, I'll get Lad to help me. If you could push this button here, Lad, we'll push both the buttons at once. Let go of it at the same time. There you go. Now, it's the immersion depth now is showing here. If I hit the zero button and then let go of Lad, and let's do it one more time. I'll do it one more time here. I zeroed it now whenever it was at that immersion depth. So now we ought to be able to measure just the lift only, the distance that it travels as it lifts off, off the surface. There it is, two millimeters and zero. So now we've adjusted the two different um, parameters, the lift that it's lifting up off the surface and the immersion depth, how much it's immersing um, how much the immersion distance of the stud is into the material. They also call that the stick out or penetration. The other adjustment you would have to make after you do this, you would probably have to loosen this little uh, clamping screw on this proximity sensor. This is the trigger that actually triggers the welder when it's in the down position. What we do is we get someone to hold the machine in the down position. You see that proximity sensor, the little LED lights up on it. That's when it's sensing the inside of that uh, pneumatic cylinder. Typically what we do is we just loosen this, we move it down, we get someone to hold the head into the down position, and then we move this up until this proximity sensor activates. Then you just move it up a little bit past that, and you tighten that screw there. This is another adjustment you need to make when you're setting up a, the system on a new setup. And these are the fine tuning uh, distances for the Rough distances, you just take these uh, bolts on the column loose and you can move the whole uh, arm up and down. So we rough it in with this by moving this uh, the whole head up and we do also you can do this distance here, move the arm in and out and then the fine tuning distance for that penetration is down here with that uh, the set screw which is a stop. Basically this is real critical to get quality welds you have to have these two distances set uh, accurately. And this uh, digital readout takes all the guesswork out of it. We can exa measure exactly how far the stud is going into the material theoretically and how far the stud is lifting past the material. What we do is we get different effects by changing these distances. The longer, the, the, the higher the stud lifts up, the faster it's going to be accelerating, faster it's going to be traveling as it hits the surface because of the acceleration. You know, the longer the distance, the more time it has to accelerate, the faster it'll be traveling as it hits the, diff the, the material. So this is how we change the pressure that's applied during the weld, is the, by adjusting this distance, this lift distance. The higher the distance, the higher the lift, the faster the stud will be traveling when it hits the surface. For different types of material, we usually have different settings on this. For aluminum, we usually have a higher lift. For mild steel and stainless steel, we usually have a lower lift. For your application, it might be different. The two millimeter immersion depth and the two millimeter lift are just really good general starting points, but for your application, it might be something different. But this is, this is the real key to getting good welds is setting this lift and the, the immersion depth on this head. That's it for this one.